Greetings, faculty. Thank you for joining me on this video on how to put your Google Meet recordings into your courses in Canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, please uh, feel free to watch this multiple times. It may take a couple of times to get the hang of it for some people. Um, you might be able to do it right away. So let's try this out. Uh, so I'm in Canvas right now. I just really want to show you the platform we're going to be using to put the video into your courses. It is called the Studio, Canvas Studio. This is an add-on to our can Canvas that the college has opted to obtain from the Instructure company, who is the Canvas company. Uh, it is down on the left in your menu. So in your Canvas menu, on the left, you will see Studio. It looks like a television screen with a bunch of links coming out of it. It says Studio right underneath it. When I click on that, it's going to show me sort of a, a list of videos that I either have in here already or like grouped together, like folders of videos that are in here. Give that a second to come up. Uh, these are all the videos that I have in my account. Yours will, of course, would look different and have other videos in there. So um, this is where you basically put the videos into Canvas. Uh, and what you would do is simply go into your Google Drive Meet Recording folder. So if I'm in my drive, you're, I, I have a meet recording folder, you will too, and it's going to have your meetings in there that you recorded, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the Google Meet recording as an MP4 file. So if I right click on the video and then download it, it will start to download to my uh, computer into the download file. These are just a bunch of uh, you know, meetings that I've recorded in the past, this particular meeting is about 90 megabytes. It's about 40 minutes long. So what I'm gonna do is let that uh, continue downloading. I'm gonna go back over to S Studio, and then I'm going to upload the video into Studio. Okay, the way that I do that is I click on the Add button on the top right, browse for the file that I just downloaded. There it is right there gonna double click on it and there it is it starts to upload right there now within a few minutes that 90 megabyte file will finish uploading and then I can go over to my courses and simply import it into the class from there and I'll show you how to do that as well all right so while that's continue I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go into one of my courses oh let me just make sure it's saved it's saying I'm not may not be saved I'm gonna wait for that to upload I'll hit pause until that's done Okay, it looks like that video has just completed. It took another 30 seconds or 40 seconds or so for that to upload. It's 90 megabytes. Uh, it should be about, for each hour that you do recording of, it should take about 200 megabytes or so. So that meeting is about 25 minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my course right now. I'll just pick a sample course, but you could do this to any course, of course. Of course, of course. And, uh, and then you're gonna add the video to your course. So I'm just gonna click on the overview of the course, and then I'm gonna show you how to put that in. So basically what you're gonna do is, we're going to uh, click on edit on any kind of page or document that you have inside of your course that is edited uh, within Canvas, and you're gonna click on edit. All right, then it gives you this WYSIWYG sort of uh, editing screen that we all know about, where you can put information into so that students see it. Now notice inside of the WYSIWYG screen, there is an icon that looks identical to Studio. It has this little TV with a little you know, network connectivity coming out of it. When I click on that, it's gonna show me all the videos that are in my studio. I'm gonna select the one that I want, the one that I just uploaded, so that we can put it inside of here. Notice that uh, the, the screen pops up with the videos, um, but I see here that the video that I just uploaded is still processing. So even though it's been uploaded into Canvas, it does take a few more minutes for that video to process. So there, we're gonna wait that out too. Okay, the video finished processing and I'm just gonna select the video and embed it into that WYSIWYG area. All right, uh, I can also, when I do that, display a download option so I can allow students to download it. I would say as a policy, we should not allow that. Um, please avoid clicking that. And um, you can click media tabs for that as well so that they can control the video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and embed it. There it shows up inside of the WYSIWYG area. 
that's what it's going to look like to students. So I have some comments here at the top about the overview of the course and then the video right below it. So, uh, and that's it. So then I save it and I can basically, you know, have that video be inside of the course. All right, so there's a lot of um, peripheral controls around having a video inside of your course as opposed to just leaving it in Google Meet and then posting it here as a link. Uh, and that is, I can actually see who's uh, watched the video. I can see how much of the video that they have watched. So if there were students in this class inside of these buttons below the video, as a teacher, as, an, as, as, a, as the person who has posted the video, I have some controls over to this. So I can actually create captions for it if I want to, select the language I want that to be in, if I pick on English, it's gonna it's gonna sort of process that too. So it has to sort of process through the voice inside of the video, and then it'll post the captions below it, and uh, and that's basically it. So inside of the details here, when your students actually watch the video, you can see how much of the video they've watched, whether or not they've skipped ahead. Uh, so it actually sections out the video in like um, in different categories. And, uh, and that the, you can see whether or not they've actually watched the entire thing or just watched for the first five minutes and then maybe watched the last five minutes to, to, um, to sort of skim through it. All right, if you have any questions about how to use Studio, uh, I recommend contacting Dean Fordunsky at the school and asking her uh, more details about how it works. But this is the overview about how to get it from Google Drive into Canvas then from Canvas into your courses. So from Google Drive, Meet Recordings folder, download, go to Studio, upload, and then go to your course and import it into whatever resource that you want the students to see that video in.